Hi folks, today's presentation is going to be another 357 Magnum versus 45 ACP battle. I have a previous video, it's probably be at least a three-parter, previous video with my most expensive revolver versus my most expensive pistol. Please check it out. It's a very fun video and I'm sure that this one will be too. Today we got the Taurus... That was a light pin run, 2.57's under, 2.75. Light pin run, let's do it again. That was a 2.35 before it was one and two, there and there. So today we got the Taurus 692 wearing these beautiful Altamont Rosewood grips. Taurus 692 multi-caliber, the best SHTF revolver there is because it's uh, multi caliber has two cylinders the 38 357 cylinder, cylinder and the 9 millimeter cylinder swappable in the seconds. And the HK 45C. And I have unboxing and range videos on these guys. And um, HK 45C was used in the Bin Laden raid. So that's interesting to know. Uh, this one is the light LEM trigger, however, not the DASA, uh, but I like it on this pistol quite about quite a bit, the LEM trigger. Look at my unboxing. I go over the LEM trigger if you need to see what that is. So this one should be a good comparison because they're about the same weight. It's about 34 ounces, about 35 ounces unloaded. Loaded, they're anywhere between 36 to 38 ounces, and it depends if you got 9 millimeter plus a moon clip in here or if you got 357. So they're really about the same size form factor and the same weight for carry. So this should be a fun one. Please always thumbs up, share, subscribe, get down there in the comments, help fight the algorithm. When you're watching this, drop a comment, drop another comment, you know, do what you can to help things out. And uh, let's get going, baby. All right, guys, so for right now, I got the uh, IDPA Shoot Me First vest. I do have a video on Shoot Me First vest you might want to check out. I give a lot of good extra reasons for doing so. Uh, that Masai Deyob and HR Funk, they also have videos on it that you should check out. Uh, you should check out all three in case you want something like this. And, you know, I got a leather vest and a denim vest. And anyway, I'm going to start at seven yards. These are very small heads, about six inches, less than seven and a half inch male pie of the outstretched hands. Very Small heads, I'm using 158-357 Magnum first. Slow fire, six rounds. Um, I'm probably aim towards the middle of his nose because the 158 should probably hit high. I think I zeroed this with the 125, 135 uh, Magnums. Look at my unboxing, uh, 350,000, and look at my full range of view, the Tor 692 multi-caliber. Here we go. Do something to cheek. Okay, that's actually the elevation I aim, but I think I'm going to pull the whole I'll aim more towards this T-box. <laughs> Boom. Wow, that's exactly where I aim. That's perfect T-box. Bridge of the nose. <laughs> okay, so there's six rounds. Let's see how I did with the Taurus. So if you're doing best five out of six, that's not bad. I pulled that one, but again, it's a very small, it's a very small uh, head box there. If you looked at how it's stretched hand, so it's like five inches, six inches, kind of ovalish. So that's not bad there than the one I pulled. So best five, not a bad little group. All right, guys, only seven yards with the Tour 692 got a 1.54 inch group. It's seven yards with the 158 grain magnums. All right, now for the HK 45C or the HK 45 Compact. This has the light LEM trigger. I have not shot this in a long time. Light little take up, fully enclosed range. Unloaded. 
But see, I can go to the wall just like you stack a double action revolver trigger, but it's light. Light take up to that wall, and then the wall breaks. Okay, reminded myself. Uh, combat hold, but I got 185 grain, so it might hit a little low. So same thing. But I'll aim at his T-box and see how low it hits with a combat hold. Perfect. Center of the nose. Perfect. Center of the no eyebrow. Got that one low. Got that one low, I think. Uh, I forgot I'm only doing six. Is that five or six? I need to go check. So to be fair, that was a preloaded bag uh, with 10 rounds. I think I fired seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe I fired seven. If not, either way. Uh, minus one, so 2.2, .2 minus 0 0.45, 451, whatever. About one and three quarters. And so 175 versus 1.54. Uh, both really good. And I was amazed. My first shot went dead on right there. And I haven't shot LEM in a while. It is probably, it's too bad no one can afford it. The LEM for people management skills and uh, no NDs, less NDs because of the long take up. A HK with a light LEM trigger or even heavy LEM like they used to do uh, is probably the best trigger for law enforcement. Let me know what you think of the comments down below. The Texas drill, 15 yards, draw to headshot within three seconds. I'm going to see if I can get it in about four. These are very small head targets, though, so maybe not. Um on the range tech range timer, you should get some kind of range timer, download splits, or get the range tech range timer. Look in my description box down below in a lot of videos. I think you can find it there, concealed carry. Always uh, get a tolster holster, use code Dan the Wolf and get 15% off. Uh, that is how I would carry it today, but I want one on the hip, one on the appendix just to make the videoing faster. So I'm using a. Uh, a different leather holster that needs breaking in. It's actually a pretty slow draw because it's made for something a tiny bit smaller um, from Don Hume. So thank you, Don Hume. Uh, Tolster holster. I got a Kydex. Here's a little trick. The P320 holster fits a bunch of different pistols. If you have a lot of different pistols, get a uh, Contour P320 holster and save yourself some coin. Uh, I'm definitely not recommending you do that, though, for safety reasons, but Not a bad grip. Uh, let's see how I did. All right, so maybe I was a little unrealistic in my transition time because I don't really know what my transition times are. I should be paying more attention to that. I'm pretty slow in transitions. 3.38. I want that first shot to break under three seconds to 5.03 total. So you should be able to do two headshots under five seconds. Let's see if I even hit that. Well, at least today I'm not as good as Jack Wilson. Hopefully that's enough to put him down with a heavy grain bullet going through into his spine. Uh, hopefully that's enough to put this guy down. This guy's got a bad old headache, but might need some uh, finishing up. Guys, now the beautiful Tour 692 loaded with a couple of uh, 125 grain XTPs. This is the questionable ammo that got some crimp jump that I bought during Ammo Gate in uh, most be peaceful summertime a few years back, uh, which was questionable in the RP63 review. Look at that new Rossi RP63 review if you want something lighter, six shot for carry. That's a 26 ounce revolver unloaded. This is 34 ounces. So there is definitely a difference on my hip. Uh, but anyway, uh, and I put it in double ear. I need to start doing that when I shoot magnums. Uh, double ear protection. 125 grain, 135 grain, 145 grain. 125 to a couple loads of 135. 145 are kind of the grains you want for, most likely for personal protection, anti-personal needs. That first shot's a miss. And the next shot might have been throwing left. I was trying to beat some times let's see if i got the times in so just slightly faster than last time 3.18 first shot you want that under three seconds i can do better i'm doing slow today i'm sick and my back hurts um second shot 4.66 so i got both shots under the five seconds so for two bad guys you know looking with something like that let's see if i made it any hits at all so this one would have taken that guy out I mean, that's okay, but that's way low shot. 
and I did switch from 158 to 125. So I need to double check where this is. And that would have just zipped through his little little uh, piece of cloth there and not done anything. So um, that's such a bad failure. I'm going to run it again. So take two, but in real life, you don't get a take two. The Jack Wilson dual bad guy drill is a little bit spicy from concealment. Three seconds to the first shot, under five for both. Now both decent headshot hits. Try it. Let's see. 3.04 to first shot, 3.04 to first shot, 166 to the next shot, 4.7. 4.7 overall, please let them be hits. All right, that's more like it. Eyeball there, bad guy down. Keep in mind, that's way smaller. My head's a lot bigger than my hand here, and these are way smaller. It's good to train on these photorealistic targets from Targets Online. Use code Dan the Wolfman. I still, I still think that's working to get you uh, like 10, 15% off. Um, that one in the cheek, I obviously want that more in the T box. But again, a Magnum, a 357 Magnum or 357 Sig round is going to have a nice enough velocity to send teeth and jaw and stuff to probably shut someone down or at least. All right, let's try and blaze and see if I can get Gabe Wade dark pin from seven yards with the HK 45C. And uh, from concealment, and again, it's a new leather holster. It's a little slower than it would have been if I carried with the Relentless Tactical today, but I wanted to, like, break it in a little bit in case I do want to carry with this. This gun is pretty thick. When I was skinnier two years ago, I could carry an appendix in a leather holster. Now it's a little thick, but because I'm doing both to save time, I didn't put it in a um, toaster holster that actually fits it. Kydex, which I would be at the 3 o'clock nowadays, but... One point eight three to first shot. Again, I'm pretty slow. Uh, I got to work on my draw. Three point three six. Three point three six overall. Uh, let me check the times. And for our first bill drill run, three point three six. Uh, actually, technically, they're all A's if you count the line break, which uh, you do. So. Uh, three slash four, if you cut the line break in the inner box, but here to here to here to there is a USPSA zone. So I've measured it. So that with the line break is all is 3.36. I doubt it, but let's try. See if I can make it with 125 warm magnums. Check the times. 3.67, 3.67, 1 of the first shot. So that's not great. Let's look at the splits. All 33 splits, except the last one was a 34. Okay, unbelievably, that's a pass. That's a dark pin pass with 357 Magnum, 125. They're pretty warm. They're not ah, super hot, but they're pretty warm. Um, except, so they, this is like a USPSA box. But one, two, three, four are not the best hits. I mean, that would... Well, actually, two of these are right on the spine. This guy's dropping, probably. But assuming those didn't hit the spine, which it looks like they did, these two are the good above the solar plexus upper thoracic hits. So these two are still good, actually, because they're really damn close. Maybe if there's hollow point expansion and they're hot and some push stuff's pushing out of the way, macerated flesh. Uh, but, I mean, I passed with 357 Magnum first attempt. That ain't it bad. All right, next up, failure drill with the HK 45C. I'm going to go in the hotness over here. I hate doing it, but I'm running out of targets. And uh, psychologically, guys, sometimes girlfriends are the trailer to take out their boyfriend. And they were the getaway driver watching at the door in the grocery store. And then, boom, they'll pop you from behind. So you do got to watch for deadly threats. A little slow on that headshot. Let's see how I did. 1.72 to first shot, 24 split, 2.88. So I think that's a very good run. Even with the slow transition to the headshot, I made sure I placed that shot good. And this is one down bad chick uh, here. We got two, which would be, again, the, whole, the big size is USPSA. 
zone, but those are still good upper thoracic kits and a perfectly good T-Box head shot in 2.88. Nice job, HK45C. All right, so both are doing great so far. If you don't realize that I'm doing some of the Gabe White's drills um, and trying to meet his times from concealment. So the build drill in 3.75 seconds. These are concealment times. Failure drill in 3.15 to the body, one of the head. Immediate incapacitation to the shots to the head, 3.25 or a split build drill in 4.95. Challenge yourself. Look at my 9 verse 40 verse 45. Uh, fair caliber debate Smith and Wesson battle video. Uh, check it out. And uh, a little bit better weather right now. All right, let's see what I can do with the 357 Magnum 125. Whoo, baby. All right, let's check the times. 1.5 to first shot. 2.09 a second shot. 59 split. 2.73 overall. That's faster than the 2.88 I did earlier with HK45C. Did I really get a one and a half draw? That's really fast for me. Let's see. All right, so we're going to call that 2.73 to perfect, perfect inner A zone box. Good shots on the spine next to the spine. That's pretty perfect. Now, my headshot was pretty bad, pretty low in the jaw, uh, but should still be pretty down. Uh, the pie is something like that circle. Or it would be a three by five, I think. That last run, even minus two five for outside the head box. Uh, that's still a dark pin pass run. So let's go for immediate incapacitation. I drew an approximate four inch circle. There, I have a tape measure. So it's pretty close. Low grip. I didn't get quite as high as I'd like. Let's see what the time. 3.09, you got to get under 3.25 for a dark pin from concealment. Uh, my first shot was very slow because of the grip. And that's unacceptable to me. One perfect uh, one that could have lawyers attached to it through her hair. So I'm going to run this one again. Guys, remember, if you're just shooting and plinking and you're not timing things and drawing and all that, all you're doing is bad target shooting. So you got to time yourself. Get a timer. Uh, range check, range timer, download splits, uh, whatever. Okay, Gabe White's drills, you're going to do all four, and I'm close saying drills, but skills test. Okay, you're going to do all four of them. You're going to do twice on demand, and you're going to take the best four of any of them. It doesn't have to be the best one of each. Best four of any of them, if you get it to that dark pin level or light pin level, that's what you get. All right, baby. Come to Papa. Uh, two seconds to a headshot. That's okay. as 2.78. That's one under the 3.25. So I could even have one B here and still be in. So this is one I'm going to have to work on with revolvers because that's low. And that's like a, barely a decent hit in the neck. All right, immediate incapacitation from appendix leather holster, HK45C, the Navy SEAL gun. And uh, goal is under 3.25 in the 4-inch ocular cavity T-box circle. Uh, first shot's not too far left. I think I see two right in the T-box on the nose. I sure hope so because it seemed fast. 2.57. Whoa, 2.57. Oh, so HK45C is winning out. 2.57 to put two in the T-box. That's pretty damn good. Let's do it one more time. That was a light pin run. 2.57s under 2.75. Light pin run. Let's do it again. Both shots a little left. I think I might have gotten them in. That was a 2.35 before it was one and two there and there. So being able to prep that trigger and make slight corrections just before you break it. Boy, the light LEM can really do some good stuff, man. 2.35 medium capacitation drill. 
Uh, Leo say, I'm pretty dang happy with that. <laughs> yeah, baby. Only the second time doing an immediate capacitation drill. Look at my Gabe White drill, 9 verse 40 verse 45. Light pin pass, light pin pass, 3.42. Minus 0.25 under the 3.75 for light pin pass with ASK 45C. Hey folks, so ran out of storage space at the range, so I'll do a little wrap up here. Let's really go over the results. I think either one would suit you well. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. But let's look at the actual data. To start off with, the Taurus did a slightly better group uh, than the HK. Then the HK did better the first run on the dual Jack Wilson drill, which is quite difficult. 15 yards, headshot, headshot, try and get it under five seconds, try and get it under three for the first one, under five seconds for the second one, the dual Jack Wilson drill, I'm calling it. Uh, then, guys, we went to the bill drill, and these are Gabe White standards. This is really only the second time I've ever attempted it. Uh, I did a bill drill in the previous video, just uh, two bill drills in the previous video. But uh, basically, it's the second time except, uh, trying the Gabe White standards. They're really spicy. The bill drill from concealment, you want under 3.75 seconds. Under 3.75 seconds from concealment, all these times you're from concealment. The HK did it in 3.36 seconds. 3.36 seconds with 0.25 splits. The Taurus... 692 multi caliber. Look at the videos on both of these. Did it in 3.67, but that's with warm. Sorry about the lighting. With warm 125 grain 357 magnum. So that's pretty good. I don't think a lot of people could do that. That was with 33 splits. So the weight and the porting help on that. Uh, previous uh, Rossi RP63 range review about 34 or sometimes 35 splits. So the porting probably helps on the weight. Failure drill. Uh, both dark pin passes here, uh, under 3.15 from concealment is what you want. The HK got it in 2.88 seconds, 2.88. So well under the 3.15 for a dark, uh, pin pass with 0.24 splits. So the split times really, really good with the HK 45. It is one of the best pistols ever designed and tested and Navy SEALs used it. Um, the Taurus 692 did it in 2.73, but a minus 2.5, so 2.98, a little bit slower with the Taurus with 0.59 split. I, I think I got a good draw on that one. Immediate incapacitation, the Taurus failed the first attempt and technically failed the second attempt with 0.03 seconds over uh, the, the 3.25 for a dark pin pass, 3.25 for a dark pin pass. I got 3.28 the second run, and it was like in the jaw and the neck, so it was questionable. Anyway, so failures with the Taurus. However, the immediate incapacitation, I started burning heat, baby, doing the best I've ever done. I've never done a light pin pass before. It's really the only second time I've attempted it. But with a 45, a light pin pass under, under uh, immediate incapacitation, 2.75. So 3.25 for dark, under 2.75 for light. I get it at 2.57 with two perfect T-box hit, 2.57 with the HK45C. And uh, then I did it again in a smoking 2.35. Two would be a turbo pin. 2.35 from a new leather holster that wasn't broken in yet uh, with two perfect T-box hits, 2.35 light pin pass, HK45. Um, and then the split bill drill, I ran out of data. You saw the results with the 45. I got a 3.42 minus 251B, still 3.67, 3.67, which is under the 3.75 to give me another light pin. I got three light pin runs in a row with the HK45 Compact, uh, 3.67. Uh, so I'm really happy about that. Then I did one run with the 357, and I failed because like three or four hits were below the A-box in the stomach. So overall, I think either one would suit you really well. This being multi-caliber, again, a swap the cylinder to 9mm, really makes it kind of the best SHTF revolver there is. Look at my unboxing and range review. Um, and then on the HK, this is slept on. This is probably the best good recoil mit mitigation. Again, 0.25 splits, making perfect A-zone hits. Uh, good enough for the Navy SEALs. I think they were running 185 plus P hollow points. Um, but anyway, um, 
And I love the light OEM trigger. I was able to do really good stuff with that media incapacitation. I mean, I placed them there and there, there and there. <laughs> smoking fast times for me from a new leather holster. So, guys, let me know what you think of the HK45 compact. Let me know, you know, sorry about that, of the Taurus 692. Get down there in the comments. Which one would you rather have? Which one would you rather carry? They're about the same weight. Did you enjoy this video? Did you, uh, this is the second 357. It was 45. Watch the first one. I'm planning on doing a third one. Uh, probably with the new Rossi comparable weights for easier carry Rossi RP63 versus the Car CW45. If you want to see that video, let me know. What else would you like to see the HK versus? Maybe HK versus the P30L? Or can you think of something else? Do you want to see it versus a 1911 Lightweight Commander? What do you want to see the HK? Uh, I got to get it out again. It's such a great pistol. Uh, I suggest you picking one up. And let me know what you think of the LEM trigger. Anyway, guys. Thumbs up, share, subscribe. It always makes me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. I think I've earned it. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Stay strapped or get clapped, everybody.